Expo East with Katie Perry. Hello! We are here to talk about Bragg Live Foods and when we reported on the acquisition of Bragg by Katie and Orlando and other investors, uh, our social media and our internet got a lot of buzz. So really? The oh, cool. Is, yeah, you're a good story for us. The industry is <laughs> Very interested, and of course, some in the industry wonder what does this mean for sure. the future of Bragg. Sure. And as we know, you have a very long history with Bragg. Yes. Going back to your childhood, and you personally care about the brand, so I think it's good to kind of share the message of you yeah. tell us about your history with Bragg and how you got involved in. Yeah, of course. You, I mean, I think um, sometimes where that like question mark comes from is there's definitely a lot of people like myself and my peers that are interested in helping promote or or um, put their name on or be associated with different brands. And for me, like I first and foremost, I'm a, I'm a singer. I'm a songwriter. You know, and then there's a couple of things I'm really authentically interested in. Those are my branches of my tree. And I actually came upon apple cider vinegar because Patricia is a family friend from, I mean, I've known her for like two decades. She would come to my parents' church. Um, and the reason why she came to my parents' church is because my mother wrote her a letter um, and she wrote back and they became friends. She read her book on fasting because my mother believes in fasting. And um, she uh, started coming to our church and she started bringing apple cider vinegar. And I was singing. Um, and at 13, she bought me my first guitar. Um, and I'm almost 35 now. Um, but I use apple cider vinegar. And it's my number one remedy for my throat, for clearing my throat um, from mucus. Or my, if my immune system is going left, I use that for my gut health. I use it. I mean, so far I've seen up to 30 different usages like on YouTube and on the internet. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's more. Yeah. I mean, people have been talking about apple cider vinegar since like 400 BC. It's been around. Yeah. And we are uh, almost, we're over 100 years old of a company. So um, Patricia's 90 years old and she used to come to these food expos. I don't know if you ever saw her. I have had the pleasure. Yes. I, she's actually one of my first interviews in oh, the industry amazing. as a journalist. And so I, I know how you can just become so connected with her as, yes. as just a powerhouse and a beautiful human being. So. And we're aligned on the same messaging, like health is wealth. I've, I've been put in a really lucky uh, position where I have been, uh, I have so much opportunity in my life, but if I don't have my health, I have nothing. And I have to really look after it because I'm on a plane every two, three days. Right. Internationally, it's wild. And I have about uh, five to 10 different products or like avocados, Himalayan salt, and apple cider vinegar on my staples list. Your must list. Must yeah. everywhere I go. Yeah. Every single place, even internationally, you know, sometimes we, they can't find it internationally. It'll be like a generic version or it'll be white vinegar on accident because oh, of the, oops, no. yeah, because <laughs> of the language barrier. But yeah. it's amazing. Like even on American Idol, there's always a big bottle of apple cider vinegar just standing right there. That is very cool. It's, it's my number one go-to. And you know, um, Patricia came to me and to Orlando, my fiance, who is a lot like Paul. Okay. Um, in, in that he's super fit, all about you know trying new innovative health products. The funny thing is when we met Orlando and I, we went on our first kind of official date. I brought my water. He had a water in the car, and we both had apple cider vinegar in our waters. Yeah. And it was kind of, because because it's a little cloudy when you put it in there. Yeah. And we both kind of looked at each other and it was like. What? So that is so kismet, right? And I mean, yes. I think we could talk about one of the things that we love about this industry is how, you know, it brings people together. And this is like yeah. apple cider vinegar creating a like, love right? story. I know. I mean, that's, that's great. It, it's, it's really funny. Um, but Patricia came, came to us um, and she wanted to help, you know, continue re-educating um, and newly educating um, younger generations mm -hmm. about how to use apple cider vinegar. Some people have no idea. All you do is put two tablespoons, like two little pours in an eight ounce water bottle. I like to sip it throughout the day. Some people like to get it straight over with. And I'm like, 
No, I love nursing it. It feels good. It feels like I'm doing something healthy for my body when I'm drinking, you know, a whole water and yes. then apple cider vinegar. Absolutely. But the usage for apple cider vinegar is beyond. And right. but Bragg's so has. Right. I know. Do you use it for anything beyond? Like, are you doing any beauty routines, clean routines? I mean, basically, you can use it for everything. I used it this morning for my hair. Did you? I did. Yeah. <laughs> Um, because I have hair extensions in, uh -huh. and sometimes it gets a little buildup. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not gonna go to Expo East with buildup in my hair, so I like poured it on the back of my head. And so you just pour it on, like yes. run over, and it's just kind yes. Of you're supposed rinse. to hold, you're supposed to keep it on there for about 15 minutes. I didn't have 15 minutes, but I was like, help me. Well, your hair looks. Amazing. Thanks. <laughs> um, we use it for many different things. I mean, we use it to obviously make salad dressings. That's like a number one after drinking it mm -hmm. all day right. um, but to rinse vegetables is really good um, we use it for gut health all the time um, for cleaning you know yeah. I think it cleans surfaces yeah. both on your counter and it cleans your insides right. really so then you're getting rid of the toxins inside yes. outside you're not spraying them on yes yeah. yes and it and for me I, I can say personally um, I have my tonsils still and they've always been a little uh, sensitive and whenever I feel like they're inflamed because it's such a great inflammation um, it, like it, it takes care of inflammation I will drink it and I'll just nurse a couple bottles yeah. inflammation gone feels the difference a hundred percent yeah and it's a great coffee substitute because I love I love coffee yeah right I love like you know all the cold brew trends those are some of my favorites mm -hmm. um, but I can't drink it that much on tour because it causes acid reflux right yeah. So, so this gives you, you get this yes. good energy. Yes. Naturally healthy. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. And it's been around forever. Yeah. You know, Fantastic I feel like for sure. I feel like anybody that's watching this, they probably have a bottle of apple cider Bragg's apple cider vinegar already in their cabinet. I mean, our shelf life is like five years plus. Yeah. I know. It's like I think forever. Our are definitely fans. So we have yeah. a page in here that's called What's Selling, where the natural products retailers tell us yes. what are the most popular products in their yes. store, and Bragg is kind of a perennial showing up all the time, oh, yeah. all the time month after month. So. And, and we're not, like, I'm here, I'm, I'm on the board of Bragg's, and I'm here to make sure that Patricia's vision and Paul's vision yeah. is sustained, yes. and that, like, Things aren't just changing because of trends, right? Um, and well, different this is generations. The kind of thing that you, I mean, it's trendy again. Yes. I mean, it's trendy now, but of course, it's always yes. been here and always. We're not trying to make this look like a clean, like, like. We love the way it looks. Well, you're ahead of the trends at Bragg, right? Because obviously the product has, has been glass. around forever, like you're saying, and it's in glass, which is yes. not the trend, but you guys have always been doing this. So Yeah, they really had, you know, they, they, they knew things inherently. And obviously they did the research on it and spent their whole life's work um, investigating what is health. And they, they, made, they made these, you know, a long time ago. And it's amazing how they knew. Yes. So, so when it's just right, then yeah, it lasts. Yeah, you know, and it, yeah, definitely. So maybe you can talk to us a little bit about what the future holds for Bragg. I know you have some new products we could talk about. Yeah, in the beginning of the year, there will be a couple of new products that are coming out. Um, and definitely, we want to get into the world of like grab and go, mm -hmm. um, because it is difficult sometimes to take a glass bottle in your purse and be like, True. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go. I know it might clean my purse at the end of the day, um, but we want we want people to be able to have that shot and have that health, um, and so we're investigating that. Um, these ready-to-go drinks are so great because if you're not used to the taste of apple cider vinegar or you don't even know how to use it, because people are like, do I just drink it straight out of the bottle? Yeah. Um, then it can be it can feel a little intense mm -hmm. so this is a great way to start changing your palate mm -hmm. to go in the, the right direction. I remember direction. my first time doing it like whoa that's okay but then yeah. it's like wait a minute your body wants that. Yes so, yeah, yes anyway. um, so lots of different ready-to-go things um, and just you know setting up amazing infrastructure for the actual company you know Patricia she's the leader of it and she was out at all the expos and I think I'm going to be doing some of this Orlando might be doing some of this and Fantastic. so you're um, going to be hands on oh yeah super hands on I'm at the 
every board meeting. You know, some of it I don't understand, especially some of the abbreviations. I'm like, <laughs> tell me what this abbreviation stands for again. Everything um, has an abbreviation. But I love learning, and what I love the most is that it's something that has been authentically in my life and has helped me so much mm -hmm. that, like, I know the cure for certain things because my mother influenced me, Patricia influenced me, and I just want to pay that forward, you know, to the different generations. Yeah. I think it's so important. Um, people are not, people want healthy stuff these days. Definitely. You know, they, they have the education, they have the information, yes. everything is being revealed, and they're realizing is that Bragg's has been there for them for over 100 years. Right, and now making it more convenient than ever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's really important to us. Well, we actually... And, and nutritional yeast. We love nutritional oh, yeast. talk to me about nutritional Well, yeast. I mean, if you investigate, the, if you investigate all of Bragg's, we have many different products. Mm -hmm. um, not too many. Actually, you can kind of speak on all of them. The amino acids, mm -hmm. the, the nutritional yeast, mm -hmm. is those are some of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, and nutri nutritional yeast, you can put on avocado toast on the very top. Sounds it's good. A, it's a cheese substitute, um, which is great because cheese for some people just doesn't not work. Dairy, not, yep. um, and then also the amino acids is great and coconut acids if you are not a soy fan. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the right soy from the amino, amino acids. Mm -hmm. So I love it. I've been I've grown up with it. I'm continuing to grow with it. Um, so a few years ago we actually interviewed Patricia and she told us her personal longevity secrets and I feel like we definitely know Patricia I mean, you said she's 90. I would have a hard time guessing that. I mean, I feel like having known her for 20 years, yes. 25 years, she's kind of ageless. And I yes. think we've even had these conversations of like, I don't even know, who knows? Yes. But you have kind of the same, I mean, you just said your age, so you revealed it, but I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to guess that Thanks. either. So obviously you guys both doing this. So maybe you can share a couple yes. of things. Yes, you know what's so funny? Growing up with Patricia around, we always heard these things about Patricia, like she doesn't wear underwear, she drinks apple cider vinegar, she, you know, can still have children, and she's like, you know, she's she's up there as far as that goes. And I was like, it was like this great mystical, magical, like, really? Wow, what does she do? Like, my mom would always be whispering these facts about her. Um, and she'd come around and she'd wear that pink hat. Um, but yeah, she was always very like, she had so much chutzpah and belief and, yes. and power with her delivery. Yeah. Um, and so you wanted to follow her. Absolutely. Yeah. For me, I mean, apple cider vinegar has been number one most important for me for my throat health, for my lower body health. Mm -hmm. Bathing in it is mm -hmm. really great. Um, and yeah, just making sure everything is more um, alkaline. Mm -hmm. um, my whole body so nothing bad can live in it. Yeah. Um, so I would say apple cider vinegar is great. I'm really into kind of this new investigation of telomeres, of yes. like NAD shots mm -hmm. and uh, peptides. Okay. Um, I'm a huge vitamin C, like the lipospheric, yep. huge into that. Um, I, I'm really into Chinese medicine. Mm -hmm. I have been for um, six to eight years and I've always taken lots of supplements um, in that way. Um, I, I do a hot yoga. I was actually, I'm here in Baltimore and I went to the core power yoga here in Baltimore nice. yesterday morning. It clears my head. It makes me feel so good. Um, so I'm really big into yoga, really big, big into health and wellness. Um, I will tell you, I, I, I gotta be honest, I was raised, my mother being super healthy, organic, my father being from the south. Okay. <laughs> so every once in a while, you know, I will be spotted with like something really awful in my mouth. Um, and I will be loving it. Um, but this, that's what, you know you can reset. Then I call, and then I can reset and yeah. combat it. I mean, I've, I'm like a big fan of In-N-Out Burger and like I've talked about it a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But you know, it's not the greatest for you, and we're Probably realizing not. that. Right. Um, but it's wonderful. Like, I'll only get the burger, and not the shakes, and not the not the sodas, of course. And I'll be drinking apple cider vinegar and having a burger at the same time. It's, it's like balance. It's balance. It's balance. Isn't it seventy go. thirty or something like that? Sure. Something yeah. Like that. I mean, I'm not. I. Uh, and Orlando is like an incredible eater. I mean, he is mostly vegetarian, sometimes salmon, mm -hmm. um, and he really I influences me in the right direction. I mean, he will shame me, like if I'm <laughs> eating something. Got that in and out burger. 
No. no, he does not. He does not stand for it. He yeah. actually puts his foot down. Well, that's good. Yeah. But sometimes you gotta sneak this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. So one final question I have for you, because I know we have to wrap up. But we, a lot of our readers are natural products retailers, so they're in the stores. They're they're uh, working with the consumers. So any message that you want to particularly share with them? Yeah, the natural, sorry, the, the... The health food store owners, natural oh, products Oh, the retailers. health food store owners, yeah. yes. Um, well, I'm just so excited to be able to have both Bragg's in health food stores and then um, have it at a larger scale as well. I think um, it's important that Bragg's gets to the masses um, mm -hmm. and is that key ingredient. Um, but I think mom and pop is really, really important. I mean, Bragg's was a mom and pop forever just until recently and that's kind of our ethos is to continue it with that mentality and that authenticity mm -hmm. um, authenticity is the most important word here for me um, in everything I do I want to be authentic in my music in my collaborations in things that I stand by um, I wouldn't be here today if this did not help me get to where I am today right so I'm not here like I could be doing a lot of other weird, you know, a lot of other things, a lot of weird things. Um, but uh, you know, in, like my, in my industry, a lot of my peers are doing liquor as far as food and beverage goes. Mm -hmm. I've been approached by that um, category so many times, and I'm like, I can't be a part of that desensitization mm -hmm. of humanity. I want to be a part of the, you know, higher consciousness of humanity. I want to raise vibrations. I do not want to lower them. Absolutely. Well, we love that. Yeah. We're, we're here to help you get that message out. So thank you thank so you. much, Maggie. Katy Perry here at Expo East talking to us at Whole Foods. We appreciate your time. Thank you thank so much, you. And have a great show. I hope you get to walk the floor. It's amazing. I did already, and I'm about oh. to go awesome. and give out some samples and some smiles. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you.